it over here. Hi, everybody. I'm really sorry about this. I'm, sorry, uh, I'm told that there's no food or water. Water's okay, but no food or other one drink without the beer. I think that's okay.
has really heard sort of talk about it. Triple. 
Um, thank you. Um, we, we have an even bigger responsibility that we provide a great experience and a great house for, for you all. So thank you. Um, why CSMA? A little bit about the school. We have been in existence for 45 years. We now serve, we teach over 16,000 school children and adults every single year. 6,000 in this house and another 10,660 in 600 classrooms in 30 schools from South San Jose to South San Francisco. It's an extraordinary moment. It's staggering. However, at the end of the day, the reason why we were able to do it is because of the commitment of our faculty to teaching one student at a time. And it really is about create, giving the tools of creativity. So, why are we so excited and thrilled about having the festival here one more time for the third year in a row? Because what you're about to see is the product of what happens when you have those tools of creativity in the hands of gifted filmmakers who have something to say and who are going to take us on this journey and the first one tonight. So, um, without further ado, I am pleased to welcome you. Have a wonderful time tonight. Come back tomorrow, come back Sunday. Um, welcome.
Once again, my name is Chike Wafia. I am the festival director for the 2012 Silicon Valley African Film Festival. I'm indeed humbled by your presence that you've been able to come and grace us with your, with your presence. Um, several years ago, we started this whole thing as an idea. An idea born out of a necessity because personally, as an educator myself, and as an African, when I've traveled the world and also been having lived here for quite some time, I often get appalled by the kind of images of Africa and interpretations, hence perceptions of Africa that one gets oftentimes or most of the time outside Africa. The images of Tazan and the National Geographic portrayal of Africa shock a lot of us because that's not the Africa. I and a lot of the Africa that we know. As a filmmaker, having traveled to film festivals and <clears throat> having personal connections with filmmakers on the continent, and I do know that we have storytellers that bring Africa alive through the movie the images. And I often wondered why these films never get a space. And so my colleagues and I a few years ago felt we should and could do something about it. Hence, what you have today in this third year. We decided to birth a forum for African filmmakers, young and old, emerging and seasoned, students and professionals, to be able to air their work, to share who they are, tell Africa's story through African lens. And so we created what we call the first Silicon Valley African Film Festival. You came, you supported it, you said you wanted more. And so last year we, we produced what we called the second Silicon Valley African Film Festival. You came, you supported it, you came with more numbers. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I present you this year the third annual Silicon Valley African Film Festival. We wouldn't be here, we wouldn't have journeyed this far without incredible support of a whole lot of people, a whole lot of organizations, foundations, partners that have put this time with us. And so, permit me to ask representatives from our presenting partners um, to please come up and say a word or two of welcome to you. This is very important. You've heard from the executive director of this house, of this beautiful space that has hosted us from the very first year, from the year we gave birth to this thing. It couldn't have happened if the community school of music and arts, if they hadn't stepped up to say, we will host it, we will give you the space, I will support it with staff. And so, let's give a round of applause to the staff. For me, it's been able to meet and encounter a wonderful African who lives in Silicon Valley, who is a firebrand, who is an incredible intellectual and entrepreneur, that one who holds Africa so dearly to her that when she heard about what it is that we are trying, who we are trying to do, without asking any questions, she called me and said, I'll write you a check. And I'll write you a personal check just to make a statement that Africans should support other Africans when they're trying to do something positive. And she came through on that promise. And then after that, she said, you know, I think we have to do more. I think just writing me a check is like giving you money and walking away. I want to be involved. I want to make the phone calls. I want to do the precinct work. <laughs> and all of that, and call people to be part of the celebration of our dear continent. And she's none other than the executive director of the African Diaspora Network, Ms. Amanda Please come and say a word to you.
just to celebrate Chike and all the people who make this happen. I met Chike three years ago, and he spoke something to my heart, something that boils in me every single day because I happen to be the only black woman, the only this, the only that everywhere I go. And I have been blessed with a career that I love, a family, my husband and I, we've been to saying, what are we going to do? Instead of you getting angry whenever something happens, why don't we do something? And I have been supported internally and externally, but I have never met someone who just absolutely touched me to the core when he spoke. We have a story to tell, and our story should be told through us. And I am committed to supporting him for as long as I am here in Silicon Valley. We have an incredible community, and there is no way why we can't make this successful. Because it does deserve to be successful. And it's a story to be told. There are amazing filmmakers, and I encourage you to absolutely support this organization. Because we do need him, and I want this to be filled up with people, not necessarily for the sake of having many people, but for the fact that they want to be involved and do something about our community where we live, Mountain View, Sunny, I give you Sunny Mill, sorry. But you know, it's next door. Okay, so I want to bring to Sunny, but then we'll cross each other. So this is my home. I absolutely love the valley. I run the Step Up Silicon Valley, the campaign to cut poverty in Silicon Valley, which I am absolutely proud of. But this is also my home. So I belong to the United States as much as I belong to Africa. And telling the story through Africans is just something that makes me proud. And I just want to say, hey, we're committed. Tomorrow we have an African diaspora summit. I do hope you come and we can have a much more in-depth dialogue about what we can do to help the film, the film festival, but also what we can do together to help our community here and our community where we come from. So thank you for this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Amaz. And like she said, tomorrow at 4 p.m., the film festival is hosting in partnership with the Africa Diaspora Network. We are hosting what we call the Africa Diaspora Summit. This is a follow-up to the Global Summit that happened in South Africa by the African Union. And at that summit, the African Union passed a resolution to recognize the Africa diaspora as its sixth region. <laughs> and so there's a lot of stuff. Amaz herself was invited to go to South Africa by the African Union to present a paper on this particular issue. So she's going to be here with us, and I invite you to come and join in this conversation as to the role of diaspora Africans in the Africa Renaissance. It's going to be an engaging two hour conversation. Uh, that will just be a way of kick-starting kick something. And we know we're going to have many more of these conversations going. So moving forward, I know the night is fast spent because we're running very late. I would like to recognize um, our presenting sponsor um, that's already been talked about, Iroko TV or Iroko Partners because they have a whole range of products they offer. They are often called the Netflix of Africa. This is the, this is the biggest and the largest distributor of, of films um, that come out of Africa online. Um, if you haven't seen their website, go check it out. Go to our website, the festival website, and click through. It's amazing what they do. And there again is a company that is based in Nigeria, New York, and UK. And actually, got connected to us and said, we want to partner with you. I know you're still a young festival. I remember the CEO saying to me over the phone, he said, GK, when we do something, we do it big. So are you ready for this? I said, I'm ever ready. I've been ready for 20 something odd years and counting. And so they said, well, we're going to start small and work with you and grow this festival. And to show you, not only are we going to write you a check, but we're going to send one of our executives to come to the festival and be with you by sharing that weekend with you. So I'd like to recognize um, the executive from Iroko, Iroko Partners. Uh, he's here with us. He flew in. I know he's a little jet lagged. Uh, I'll let you do her, please. <laughs> you want to say a couple of things? Very great since you're here. And then, uh, and then we can move on. Because, uh, Let's give my daughter a round of applause. 
And, uh, and finally, and we literally had to ask him, you must have something else to submit to this festival. This wasn't one of those where the filmmaker sent you a film. This was one of the times where we asked the filmmaker, if you don't have something, create something. We need your work. But he said, sure, I do. And he sent us this beautiful animation that we're going to be showing here as well tomorrow, as a matter of fact, at 1 o'clock. And so, um, Ezra is here with us. He's the field manager. And then, I can't find my Ugandan filmmaker. He, here, uh, he's here. You see, I'll be always here on my part. You see, this brother, he had his film in our very first film festival. A very great film. We, we screened it, got incredible feedback. Two years later, now we're in our third year. You need to see his work. Not only is it important to film, but you need to see the growth. You need to see the way the scripting, the production values, and all of that. But he has a message in this film. This is a feature-length film. It's our closing film of the festival on Sunday at 4 p.m. Please come, because this film has not been released yet. The film is called The Ugandan. It's a film that talks about identity. It's a film that talks about xenophobia. It's a film that is set, even though it's fictional, but it's set in the post Idi Amin Uganda. And all the shadows that come out of the Idi Amin's policy of expelling Indians out of Uganda. And several years later, the current president brings them back. And what happens in that interplay? It's an amazing work. And uh, he's here. Uh, to share his work with us, and he will be there for the post screening. So, 4 p.m. on Sunday, please make sure you come and join us as the closing film of the festival. So, having done all that, and I, I will say, um, I would say that, um, and I endorse this message. Is that how? <laughs> <laughs> I approve this. You see, I'm not a politician. See, the politician already told me how they say, and I approve this message. Okay. So, having given you all that commercial. I would like to call on the mayor of this city, a very dear friend that I've known uh, for quite a number of years, but it's a man that has his heart in, in what is real. And uh, I've never called him and he's, you know, uh, there's never been a time where I've called him and he said no. And he's always supported this film festival from the one girl. And uh, he's here to say a few words and I understand uh, has a proclamation he needs to present. So please welcome the mayor of the city. Thank you, Chike, and uh, Chike and I go back a long ways, and I, when I think about it, I th we go back to uh, starting with a film. It was Amistad, and it's when we began the uh, Diversity Youth Forum. Chike was involved in that film. Uh, Chike, in his own right, is a filmmaker, and I've seen some of his films. Well, they, they weren't about Africa, but they were by Africans, so they were fantastic films. Uh, but it really is an honor to be here. I've been here for the opening of all three of the uh, film African film festivals. And of course, I have a proclamation. And a proclamation has to be read, otherwise it's just a piece of paper. So I will read this to you, and it's not that long. But, whereas the Silicon Valley African Film Festival is presented by Oriki Theater, the Community School of Music and Arts, and the Diaspora Network, as a showcase of seasoned and emerging filmmakers, from the African continent, whose works reflect authentic African voice. And whereas the African Valley, uh, Silicon Valley African Film Festival 2012 presents 35 feature-length, short-length, and animation films from 15 African countries. And whereas the Silicon Valley African Film Festival enriches our cultural landscape by providing a forum for a better understanding and appreciation of Africa and Africans through moving images, and whereas it is indeed fitting to recognize the importance of the Silicon Valley African Film Festival and honor its presenters, staff, advisors, volunteers, and filmmakers, and reaffirm our city's commitment to diversity. Now, therefore, I am Michael Kasperzak, Jr., Mayor of the City of Mountain View, along with my colleagues on the City Council, you hereby proclaim October 12th, 13th, and 14th as Silicon Valley African Film Festival Weekend in the city of Mountain View, California. Signed and sealed this 12th day of October, 2012. Yeah. So it's official this
this is our weekend in this city. So, well, thank you, sir. Thank you for so kind. I also like to recognize the, the sister here, Alicia Crack. Uh, just sign up on wave, Alicia. Um, she wants to be here. Uh, incredible support. Uh, we have so many, all the faces, my big brothers here. I see Hugh Boros, I see Harris Gillian and his beautiful family. I see a lot of you. I see Ben O'Kelo, that, you know, oh my gosh. And then I see my dad's girlfriend over there. <laughs> anyway, I see a lot of, I know, this is family, this is beautiful. And um, oh my gosh, brother Leon Beachman just came in. So, hey, bro. So, you know, this is just an incredible, you know, weekend. So please, uh, take a look at the, at the booklet. Uh, we have the programs. And also, uh, again, I know my advisory board members are not going to, uh, I'm always, I'm not the one that knows how to ask for money, but they say, listen, you have to. Um, I'm not asking you for money, but they say I should let you know <laughs> that we are, the business is open, we're trying to grow this festival, we're trying to support this festival, and so if it moves you to support us in any way, shape, or form, um, our staff will be at the table, you know, we can take a check, credit card, um, you know, just give us the credit card and go home. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so support us in any way you can if it moves you. But please, also, it's important for us. If you're on Facebook, like us on Facebook, tweet about this. Tell your friends and family what's going to happen this weekend. This is going to be a weekend like none other. Come and take a journey through the African continent. Come and take this journey. And let's guide you through the lens of these filmmakers. Trust me. And ask those that have been here for the past two for the previous years. At the end of the weekend, you will be touched by Africa. You will touch Africa. You will have seen, you will have tasted, you will have felt Africa. So come on, let's get on this ride. Thank you very much for coming out. And now we are going to have you get up. But before you do that, there's nothing that happens here without music. When you were coming in, we had a little bit of a little taste so I'm going to call our musicians to come on out here and uh, give us a little bit and as they're playing and dancing and singing, if it moves you, if you want to shout hallelujah, go for it. If you want to clap, go for it. If you want to jump on stage, it's okay. Come on. We're going to have, because we are part of this whole family, and so we're going to have Brother Henry Burton and Sally. Come on out, Sally Kone and Co. So please come on out and uh, give us a taste of Africa through the drums. Like we say, the drum is our voice, and so we must speak.
have more athletes that come to do. <laughs> so this instrument is called Bala, and uh, it's made in, um, I made them from uh, West Africa, made in my family, so you know, we're gonna give you a scale of uh, pentatonic. It's more, uh, it's a deep tradition. So please enjoy. Presenters, a wonderful family, a 
now formally declare the 2012 Silicon Valley African Film Festival officially open. <laughs> Incredible, incredible opening night feature film. If you haven't seen it in your brochures, please take a look. It's called Freedom. This was a film that was produced in Nigeria in 1957. For those of you that understand African history, Nigeria got her independence in 1960. Ghana got her independence in 1957. A good deal of African countries came into independence in the 60s. This film was produced in 1957 in Nigeria by Nigerians. And the beautiful thing about it is when it was time to act the film, the brothers and sisters from Ghana and South Africa, they all came into Nigeria and they did this beautiful thing. And the film is set in a fictional African country just on the verge of independence. And we decided unanimously that this was our opening night film because to think and watch and see these brothers and sisters in 1956 when they were shooting in and 57. You know, putting it all out there. You know, Africa agitating for independence with all its promises and challenges. Put it on screen. Full length feature film. We said this would be a great cinema. This would be great for us to start with. Watch this film and unpack the film afterwards. So, just in a few minutes, we're going to roll tape for our opening night feature film, Freedom. But before we do that, we'd like to give you a bathroom break and also give you the opportunity to go write those checks. Some of you already asked me, you know, how many zeros can I put on the check? I said, start writing now. Okay. But anyway, so we're going to, you're going to give us a few minutes, um, you know, stretch your legs, check out some of the stuff. We have, we have raffle going on. Um, my team, they've put together this, I think a couple, when you go out there, you're going to see, I know you didn't see that before you got in, but they're ready. There are some baskets that have some incredible things in them, our t-shirt, our mugs, different kinds of stuff, and a whole bunch of stuff in those baskets. So pick up a raffle ticket and um, check out a few other things we have, and then we're going to bring you back in just a matter of 10 minutes or so or less. And we're going to roll for our opening night feature film. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. And please come back.